Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air and the new HVAC guide. Want to do a real quick video because I have had customers of my own and I've even seen other heating and air techs use those what we would call like an infrared thermometer or some sort of a laser thermometer. So they've got their little laser pointer out there and they can beam it up and whatever it hits, it will tell them what the temperature is. And I just wanted to do a real quick video letting you know that it is not actually a very accurate measurement when you're talking about the air temperature in heating and air instances. What do I mean by that? Well, if you use an infrared thermometer and you shoot it on something, and so you now got this red dot on something, you are actually taking the temperature of the surface of whatever you're hitting. And I've even seen discrepancies of several degrees where we'll take a, even just a simple meat thermometer, stick it up in a vent, and you're getting one temperature, but then you take your infrared thermometer and shoot that little red laser on there, and you're getting a totally different temperature. So I hope that helps if you're trying to say, see how good your system's doing. Maybe you're doing a Delta T measurement, trying to see what the difference is going in your return and coming out your supply. You're not going to get a very accurate measurement using those infrared thermometers. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. The last thing I'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in Virginia and the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck, Give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad. Avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called No-No's, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.